Okay, it's critting for 50 million in the end game. So of course we had to bring you guys a leveling build for Hoda, otherwise known as Hammer of the Ancients in Diablo 4 for the Barbarian. This is leveling one to 50. Let's get into right how to play this build. So over here in the skills, guys, this is going to be Hammer of the Ancients. What we're going to be doing is running around, making sure our Fury is completely full and smashing the ground to deal massive amounts of damage to every way, to everybody in a huge shockwave. So starting off, we're going to be doing Lunging Strike all the way up to a Battle Lunging Strike to not only close the gap on our enemies, but we're going to be doing some bleeding damage over time, which is really good, which is also going to apply some slow effects later. Then we're going to come down and we're doing Hammer of the Ancients. Massive amounts of damage into Ferocious or Furious Hammer of the Ancients. Hammer of the Ancients deals 1% additional damage for each point of Fury you had when you're using it, which is why we want to use this at as much as maximum Fury as we can get it or close enough to. We're not going to do it Overpower, although there's an Overpower variant that would be really good. Pressure Point, your core skills have a chance to make enemies vulnerable, which is really good. You could also do this to generate fury if you really didn't want to make them vulnerable. You can come over here and make sure that Lunging Strike does get our fury generated a lot faster. So then that way we can smash more ground. Then, of course, what is a Barbarian build without our three shouts? Come on, guys. We're doing Rallying Cry to not only give us Unstoppable, but we're going to generate fury as well as resource generation on Rallying Cry. Then we're going to come down and take Challenging Shout for damage reduction against our enemies and give us some... Uh, bonus HP, as well as gaining more fury every time we take damage. We're going to be up close and personal, so we should always be getting hit. Then War Cry into Power War Cry. If there's six enemies around, we get to do 10% additional damage. However, if you wanted to be more tanky, you'd get 15% of your base life as Fortify, which would help us do the Overpower variant if you really wanted to. But as far as leveling, I think this one's a little bit easier. So then we're going to take all nine points into our shout passives. So we're going to do booming voice so they last longer. Raid leader so we get heal. Gutter hall yell so our shouts cause enemies to deal less damage to us, which is great. Three points in swiftness so we have increased move speed, which is awesome. One point only into quick impulses for the CC um, impairing effects reduction by 6%, which is really good. Then we're going to come down to our weapon masteries. We're not taking any skills, but we're going to take some passives here. So Pit Fighter, we deal increased damage to close enemies. Slaying Strike, we deal increased uh, damage to injured enemies, which if you guys don't know, injured is less than 35% of their health. Then we're going to come down and take Thick Skin. Uh, for every time we take damage, we're going to be fortified. Then you can do Defensive stance, stance if you want to. Really what I want to do is take this point out. I want to come in and do No Mercy because you get a crit strike chance against Immobilized, Stunned, or Slowed. When we bleed, we're going to make enemies slowed which is really, really important. So then we're gonna take counter offensive. So when we fortify above 50%, we do even more damage. Then we're gonna come down and take uh, three points in heavy handed. So we do increase damage. One point into temper fury for more fury and then invigorating fury, we heal for 9% of our life after fury has been spent. But I wanna take that off and I wanna do no mercy again for even more crit chance. You can really take some things out Maybe take one porn point out of there and have the, the three points here. I really like this because everything is going to be slowed no matter what. So having the extra crit chance is actually really, really important. Then, of course, we're going to be taking Call of the Ancients into Supreme Call of the Ancients. This is just a really good single target additive or against mobs, which is just very, very strong. You get three different Ancients that are going to come down and help you that give you 10 uh, Fury each time he damages. Enemies get slowed, which is going to help us on our crit chance. And then 30% uh, more chance to stun if you're using up people, but we're not using up people. Then we're going to come down into our key passive, and we're going to take Unbridled Rage. The reason that we're taking this one is because we're going to do 135% increased damage, but it's going to make Hammer of the Ancients cost 100% more. So instead of 70, it's going to cost 140, but it's going to do way more damage. And because we want to do as much damage as possible with fury being at the maximum we want to just maximize this all together if you didn't want to run in bridal rage though you could do berserker or unconstrained which is fine you could do a walking arsenal but the unbridled rage or unconstrained is just the best so we're going to go in guys all we're going to do is pop our shouts uh we're going to lunging strike up and then we're going to be able to do some bludgeoning damage here our expertise of choice is going to be the two-handed sword 
The reason being is because we're going to apply bleeding effects. And in our skills, we have our one point in hamstring, which makes all of our bleeding effects slow enemies. So everybody's going to be slowed no matter what. So all we're going to do is pop shouts. We're going to lunging strike, get our fury up, and then we're going to hammer the ancients down. You call down call of the ancients when you're in a rut. So let's go over here and just take a look and see what we got. Pop everything. Bang. Bang. Super fun. You just annihilate enemies. It's so, so great. If you didn't want a Call of the Ancients, you could also run Leap, which is very strong. You could do all of those. See, we're like hitting for 9,000, which is kind of nuts. Now, the one trick to this uh, is getting all of the enemies to really group up. That's the hard part, I would say, is getting enemies to group up so you can maximize your Call of the Ancients, or not your Call of the Ancients, your Hammer of the Ancients, which can be kind of tough. But if you can get them close like that, then it really works out. Now, I do want to show the difference briefly of what Unbridled Rage is taking off and you take Unconstrained. Just so you guys can see. So pop out all of my shouts. You still do some really good damage. It's just you're not going to be doing as much. But you're going to be able to smash more. Which could be a benefactor in the end. However, if you can get enough items to sustain your fury generation, then you're going to be just fine. And I would definitely suggest doing your... Uh, Unbridled Rage, but in the end, Unconstrained can still be really good for 25% additional bonus. Now, into the gear and what you need, guys. Again, this is a very basic build. You don't really need a whole lot. However, you need one key ability. So, we're going to go in and we're going to take uh, Aspect of the Expectant. So, enemies attack or attacking enemies with a basic skill increases our core damage. So, we use this, rack up our Fury, then we get a big, huge damage boost there. Then we're going to be taking uh, Edge Masters. So, skills that deal... They're going to deal 15% or up to 20%. Increase damage based on your available primary resource when cast. So if this is all the way full, we get the maximum amount. Then we're going to... Oh, that's not there. We need uh, Echoing Fury. So your Shouts uh, skills generate Fury per second while active. Then we're going to have Ancestral Force. This is the key power that you need for the build. Hammer of the Ancient quakes outwards, dealing up to 50% of its damage to enemies. Very, very, very important. So those are the key legendaries that you guys need for the build. And that is it, guys. That is Hammer of the Ancients in a nutshell for the Barbarian. It, in the end game, this build leads up into the end game very nicely. It's critting for over 50 million damage, which is just insane from one Hammer of the Ancients swing, which is just kind of crazy. So I'm really looking forward to my build or Hammer of the Ancients, my favorite skill for the Barbarian to really be used in the end game. So, like the video, guys, if you've enjoyed it. Comment down below. What do you guys think about Hammer of the Ancient? Hopefully, it doesn't get nerfed. Please, Blizzard. You've nerfed Barbarian so much. Please, no more. Please, no more. And subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.